Okay, so first, uh, I wanted to know first, there seems to be like a ploy for you to discipline your son. Why did you, how did you find out about this? Uh, why did you seek to rather escalate this matter to this point? Because um, obviously there's other incidences that I think your son has been kind of found in the wrong. Is this, uh, other people have also speculated that this is almost a distraction from the Senzo Mayo case. What do you have to say about that? Look, I'm not interested about people, what people say about the Senzo Mayo thing. Yeah. I know, my, the people who know my character know me. They know me better. I don't want to be associators, uh, associated with haters on social media. You know, I'm a very responsible parent, and not because of the sins of me. I've been doing that for a long time. And the, what, the actions that I took now, I, t I took it as a responsible parent. My son has been having problems with drugs. I mean, from way back in uh, around 2000, I mean, when he was about 17 years old. So now he's 39 and he's still the same. Nothing has changed. He's been stealing from me. Uh, he's been doing a lot of stuff. He's been to more than 30 rehab centers from one rehab to another. We've tried to assist him as a family. We tried everything that we could and uh, he doesn't want to change. Uh, so uh, now, uh, I think on the 3rd of August, I went to the U.S. Uh, before my trip to the U.S., I had a meeting with my son, both of them, who are arrested here. And then they both sound engineers, you know, very good uh, engineers. I had a meeting with them because the other one, the elder one, long way, just came back from rehab. He was, he was looking good. He was okay. We spoke. He said he must now focus on his career. He's an old man. He has to be responsible uh, and take care of the business that we have. Uh, he promised. I accepted him, but my sister brought him to me. He said, please, those who hate me had luck. You understand? The sense of you would think. As we speak, I have a very good relationship with Senzo's mom. Yesterday I spoke to them. I spoke to Senzo's family all the time. And if Senzo's mom loves me and she accepts me as a son, I mean, who are they, those haters? I have a very good relationship with Senzo's mom. Even now when I leave her, I'm going to talk to her. Did you have a relationship before? Or after? I have a very good relationship with Senzo. And, and, and hence, I took a responsibility that uh, it's I'm not that because of my son or what. I have students that are not my kids, who are doctors, who are lawyers, that have assisted. Uh, so I always assist uh, disadvantaged, uh, especially young black people. So I don't actually see the problem if I have to assist Senzo's mom or anyone else. They are not the first. I help a lot of people. Mr. Kala, where do you think maybe you had gone wrong with that? Well, the law must take its course. I mean, I, I wouldn't open a case if I didn't want him to be disciplined. He must know what he's doing is wrong. It's not the first time he does such things. It's not the first time. He's been doing this for years, and now it's time for him to take, uh, I mean, to be uh, uh, disciplined for his actions. Do you know what time they're going to be appearing in court, sir? Uh, I have no idea when, but uh, what I know is that they will be appearing today. Yeah, but uh, I'm not going to actually, uh, one thing for sure, I want the law to take its course. Okay, I'm sure so painful as a parent having to take such a drastic measure. I mean, surely it, it, it also pays to his interest. Look, it's my son. Even if it was not a sense of Mayua issue and all that, I think i would be doing the same thing. This has got nothing to do with Senzo. And uh, regarding the sense of Mayua, I know that he did it. Because I know him. He's a thief, he's a druggy. But him shooting sense or what it's nonsense. Whatever people are saying about him, I know he won't do that. You understand? And if I was protecting him, why would I actually like I mean this man was in the street. All his life is in the streets. I only accept him then and there when he comes back from rehab. But most of his time is in the street. If I'm protecting him against maybe uh, him being my son, protecting why would I leave him in the streets to suffer?